Hi everyone, this is Alicia Miller. I am a Candida expert and also the founder of Core Emotional Healing. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why you are really craving sugar. And it's not what you think, especially for all of you who have Candida or autoimmune disorder and you're on a very specific sugar-free diet to heal. Have you ever thought of why you crave sugar? Uh, the simple answer would be your candida. What about for all of the people who don't have candida overgrowth? Why are you craving sugar? So I'm gonna be answering that question today and maybe you never thought about it. I know myself, I never asked that question. <laughs> I just thought I was an emotional eater and I didn't really realize it was a symptom until I actually healed the root cause of my candida and then I didn't emotionally eat ever again. And that was eight years ago. So I'm gonna be sharing uh, what I've learned over the years, working with clients and from my own personal experience as well, uh, that craving sugar and emotional, emotional eating, binging on food, especially sugar and carbs, is a symptom of something much deeper. And it's not, your candida. Uh, in my last video, I did talk about the candida diet and when that doesn't work <laughs> and what to focus on. So this is a continuation of that. Uh, you know, when you're eating and binging on sugar, uh, when to stop focusing on the sugar itself as the enemy <laughs> and when to start focusing on why you, or not when, start focusing on why. And I'm gonna be helping you today seeing why you're craving sugar in the first place. Um, and so you can start addressing the root cause of that, which is also the root cause of your other symptoms. So sugar um, is, it can be a substitute for love. It can also be a comforting thing of when you're not feeling good or not feeling good about yourself. Sugar is a temporary fix, just like drinking. It's just like any other drug. So uh, drinking and using anything to feel better uh, is are symptoms of your emotional needs, your emotions that need to be expressed your emotional needs that weren't met as a child as well. So as children, if you didn't feel loved by one or both of your parents, or if you weren't getting all of your emotional needs met, if you didn't feel safe, if you experienced abuse, trauma, neglect, including emotional neglect, most parents were just not emotionally healthy, didn't heal from their emotional wounds. So they couldn't handle your emotions and they had too many unmet emotional needs themselves. So most likely they projected their pain onto you. They neglected your needs because they were overwhelmed with their own unmet needs. And what happens as a result of all of that is it creates a void uh, in this void is you know you tried to fill this void this void is a void of not feeling loved um, and needing and still needing to feel loved by your parents and because you're not getting what you need often as children even we turn to food to fill that void so you may think back oh yeah i would eat sugar to feel better and it was unconscious. You weren't really thinking, oh, I don't feel loved. I'm going to eat sugar. <laughs> but this is where it comes from. Uh, the sugar cravings itself is the craving for the love that you didn't get. Also, the sugar cravings can be emotions, repressed emotions, these strong emotions that want to be expressed. And you've learned to protect yourself from feeling these emotions by eating so this is another way of suppressing your emotions is to eat sugar. So this is gonna open things up for you when you, and, and actually get you off of this vicious cycle. 
Uh, so when you look at your sugar cravings as a craving for emotional needs, emotions that need to be expressed and felt and expressed, then you can stop blaming yourself for craving sugar. You can stop beating yourself up and punishing yourself for eating sugar. I see so many people that binge on sugar and who are on a candida diet uh, and then they feel bad, so bad about eating it and they feel like they have to cleanse and get rid of it. Um, and, and so I see a lot of people doing water fasts, binging on sugar, doing water fasts. What that does is it depletes, it, it, it's like a continual vicious cycle of guilt and depletion. And this is really what you're healing from. So you're just staying in your emotional wounds of feeling bad about yourself and punishing yourself and feeling depleted. And this is a most likely a continuation of a childhood pattern as well. So please don't starve yourself and, and don't punish yourself either if you ate sugar. Start to explore why. So you can see how you were feeling at the time that you had a craving. If there, you may have had an emotional trigger, you, had, you may have interacted with someone who said something that hurt you or that triggered something uh, that's related to your, your core emotional wounds from childhood. You can explore those things. If you don't feel good about yourself, uh, if you feel like you're not doing enough, you're not enough, you, you need to be perfect, uh, all of these things can contribute to uh, not feeling good enough or lovable, which then you have a craving for that, that craves sugar, and, uh, and then that is the whole vicious cycle. <laughs> so focus on your emotions and be supported through the core emotional healing process that will fully heal all of your symptoms. So all of your symptoms are related to your core emotional wounds and unmet needs. And that's really why you are craving sugar. And that's really why your symptoms aren't going away no matter what you do. And that's really why you may have anxiety and depression, or you feel that uh, you just, no matter what you do, you can't get what you want or be supported or loved by the people in your life. So I uh, have a free webinar for you to watch, to understand what it takes to fully heal the emotional root cause of all of your symptoms and your cravings and so much more. I'm gonna put that link in the description of this video. And I just wanted to share a little personal story to give you hope as well. Uh, I was an emotional eater, eater my whole life and I never questioned it. I didn't think or, or even think to ask myself, why am I emotional, eat, emotional eating? Why am I craving sugar? Why can't I eat just one piece of chocolate? I just thought that's who I was. So I would eat a whole bar of chocolate. I just couldn't stop. And so I had these binges, I had bulimia, I would binge and purge sometimes, or I would just binge. Uh, I was also on the Candida diet strictly for many, many years and, uh, and would emotionally eat um, throughout. And I didn't realize that the emotional eating and the cravings were related to why I had Candida. And it's not because I was eating that fed the candida. It was because of the core emotional wounds from childhood. And once I healed my inner child and I released my re repressed emotions and I reparented myself and I gave myself the love and approval and acceptance and I asked for what I needed and I got what I needed and I knew I deserved to have all that I wanted and needed that I never had in my life, <laughs> then my candida went away, all of my candida symptoms, emotional eating went away, I never ate again emotionally, and I never binged on food again. And that was over eight years ago. So much more happened as a result as well, you'll learn in the webinar. Uh, but I wanted to share that story because I just 
didn't even think it was possible to not emotionally eat and to just be one of those people that eats when they're hungry and I only eat when I know when I'm full. I never could feel when I was full before. I would always just kind of eat fast and still be craving. And then now I have like one piece of chocolate. I could not have chocolate for a while if I want. So, so there's no more emotional cravings uh, for food or alcohol or anything. Uh, so now I'm fulfilled in every area of my life and um, there is no more void. It's just fulfilled and pouring over and I wish the same for you. So please comment, let me know if you have any questions, if you'd like uh, me to discuss anything else um, on a future video, any topics, and I can answer questions as well. So thank you for tuning in and uh, for joining me along your journey. I hope you continue to explore uh, your emotional cause and heal yourself emotionally as well. Thank you and we'll see you next time.